Jehovah's Witnesses. You are aware that the year 607 BCE is extremely important in your religion. Without the year of 607 BCE being the year that Jerusalem fell by King Nebuchadnezzar, you could not use the 2520 number to get to 1914. Therefore, you wouldn't know if Jesus came in 1914. You wouldn't know if he picked the Watchtower Society as his organization. Basically, without 607 BCE, everything else just falls apart. So it is extremely important to your beliefs. Do the math. Yes, you heard right. Do the math. Doing the math is the only way we can make a timeline or get interesting background information that makes our Bible reading more enjoyable. Now you heard the man do the math, so we must listen to the faithful slave at governing body. So let's look up chronological world powers. And then we'll go down here. And right here it says, part 40, your will be done on earth. Chronological chart of world powers. We click on that and there you go. You have Nabonidus, Labashai Marduk, Neglizar, Evil Merodach, Nebuchadnezzar, and Jerusalem. So we're going to look up these rulers, starting with Nabonidus, here in your own literature. Okay, so we're going to type in Nabonidus up here. And we'll click on the first one. And you see right there, 556 to 539 BCE. Okay, so we're going to make a little chart where we have all the rulers. So we have Nabonidus. He ruled for 17 years from 536 to 539. We're going to check on Google just in case. Let's see what they say. Nabonidus. He ruled from 536 to 539 BCE, 17 years. Okay. So next we need to look at Labashai Marduk. Now, instead of typing every name, you notice that same one told all the rulers. So, Labashai Marduk right here, a vicious boy, succeeded him and was assassinated within nine months. So, he didn't rule long, only nine months. So, we're going to write that down. 556 to 556. Now, we look for Neglazar. And Neglazar reigned for four years. So, we're going to write that down. 556 to 560. Now, Evil Merodach. Evil Merodach reigned for two years and was murdered by his brother Nerik Lazar. So we're going to write that down, 560 to 562. Now we come to Nebuchadnezzar. So we're going to write in Nebuchadnezzar. And the first one here, see it says, Second ruler of the Neo-Babylon Empire, Nebuchadnezzar ruled as king for 43 years. And if you notice, they say he ruled from... 624 to 582 but we did the math as you can see that's a lie why would they lie to you well let's see so Nebuchadnezzar 43 years from 562 to 605 okay so now we got to find out when Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem okay so let's see here it says they state that it was in the 19th year that he assembled his army. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a calculator and we're going to do this math here. We're going to take 605 and subtract 19. 605 minus 19. And we have our answer, 586, for the year when Nebuchadnezzar conquered Jerusalem. Not 607, 586. But let's check with Google just in case. Let's see what they say. When was Jerusalem destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar? Let's see here. 586 B.C. Okay, so, so Google agrees with the Watchtower Society's own math that they published in their publications. And it isn't 607, as you see, it's 586 BCE. So, as you can see, 
the Watchtower Society is lying to you. And how long was that? That was less than five minutes. In less than five minutes, we just proved the whole Jehovah's Witness religion wrong. We proved that the governing body or the Watchtower Society publications are lying to Jehovah's Witnesses. And it's very plain to see. All you have to do is do the math. And it's available right now on JW.org. If you too can familiarize yourself with those names, make yourself a little chart, and just you can show a Jehovah's Witness right there. Let them look it up if you want to. Um, let them do the math even. It's not that hard. And without 607, there's no way they can use the magical 2520 number to get to 1914. No way for them to tell if Jesus came for a second time then. No way for them to tell if he came and picked their organization. I mean, the whole religion just falls apart within under five minutes. And it's also very interesting for a Jehovah's Witness to see right there in front of their eyes the governing body lying to them, saying how long Nebuchadnezzar ruled for, but then if they do the math themselves, they see that that's a plain lie. And also, uh, Nebuchadnezzar never reigned in 607. He only reigned till 605. So he wasn't even king during that year. So that's another thing you can point out. So I hope this video helps one of you out there to speak with some Jehovah's Witnesses and show them that their religion crumbles in less than five minutes.